Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Nerd News. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and we, today we are back now on uh, YouTube, TikTok, and Spotify video podcasts. So that's very fun. Today, our, hop, our top headline of the day is a change in designation from a, a classic Nintendo title, but we're going to get through our main headlines of the day first. Firstly, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. DLC 2, Future Saga Chapter 2, drops a teaser trailer. <laughs> the developer of TMNT Shredder's Revenge closes after 15 years. Life is Strange creator, don't nod, has a rough start to the year and pauses two separate projects. Airship Syndicate, the creators of Darksiders, cuts another 16 jobs. Activision Blizzard lays off hundreds of California workers. Brazil creates a new legal framework for the games industry that focuses on um, indie games as well as protecting and, and fostering the burgeoning Brazilian games industry. The creator, the developer of Vampire Survivors, Ponicle, opens its own publishing arm. EA Games uh, pulls the plug on The Simpsons Tapped Out after 12 years and fans are reasonably very very upset I and mean, there's plenty of sad stories on the internet talking about why people are very depressed about this 10 percent of you of ubisoft shareholders support option to sell the company valve's new anti-cheat system for deadlock lets run lets players turn cheaters into frogs while also cs counter-strike 2 uh, players are upset at the lack of updates. Remedy Entertainment gets a million dollar loan from Tencent, further indebting them to the Chinese giant. And there will be no Starfield Shattered Space reviews before launch. And probably trying, which is not a fantastic sign, but we will see what happens when we see it. Now on to our main story of today from GameSpot by Steve Watts, Yoshi's Island is officially a Yoshi game, not a Mario game. The Nintendo Museum is preparing to open in Kyoto, Japan, and looks to be an incredible collection of, of Nintendo ephemera, but it also perhaps inadvertently a way to settle age-old internet disputes has already supplied a definitive answer to the question, is Yoshi's Island a Yoshi game or a Mario game? According to Dan Ricker, the special press preview of the museum, one ex a vision room has a space dedicated to specific franchises separated into individual categories. Mario franchise was displayed by far the largest, encompassing not just the Plumber Solo Adventures, but also various spin-offs like kart racers and sports games. He has also noticed that Yoshi's Island is not actually in the Mario display, but is rather included in a separate Yoshi franchise display. This is, uh, I think, you know, I wanted to give a light headlining story after the Danusian sadness that y'all just witnessed i hope you have a good rest of your day hey thanks for watching if you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video outside of live streams or just be a join the community and be a part of it you can do so at hivmedia.gg slash discord discord links there we'd love to have you and given the financial situation of the economy right now i know this is a tall ask but if you have the scratch to, to spare please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my mental health. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.